Recently, Usher went viral for allegedly almost giving the devil thanks during his award speech. Watch this. Very honored to be able to receive this amazing award from the devil. From and right after he caught himself, he went on to say, from the depths of his soul. From the depths of my soul. As you all heard in the second video clip, he said, from the depths of his soul. For instance, let's just say he meant to say this at first. Now, my question is, would this be enough evidence to rule out the fact that Usher, especially recently, has been showing his alliance with the prince of this world. This represents the prince of the air. And when people do this, they are showing you who they are in alignment with. See, Usher is just like all the other artists. Do you all remember Ice Spice? She recently went viral for doing this right here. And Usher is doing the same thing. And do you all remember what Cat Williams said? He was telling the truth. Just take a look at Usher. This is why many artists spoke out against Cat Williams. But one thing they wasn't able to do is prove that he wasn't telling the truth. And did you all notice Usher's performance during the Super Bowl halftime show? He decides to stand on top of an image that represents a pit of fire. And notice that the image of fire is inside of an image that's shaped like a circle. See, a circle has no ending. It goes round and around. Therefore, it's a sign that represents eternity. So they are depicting this as eternal fire. And they are depicting the woman dressed in red as tempting him. Who is the tempter? It's the prince of the world. And Usher is portraying himself as falling for the temptation. And who fell from heaven? It was the prince of this world. These are subliminal messages, everyone. And it's obvious that Usher is just like all the other artists. It's a game. And whoever decides to play the game, they have to come into agreement with the ruler of this age. And if a person has a corrupt seed planted in their heart, it shall produce corrupt fruit. And according to Genesis, it says that every seed shall bring forth after its own kind. So an apple seed can't produce oranges. So if a person has a righteous seed planted in their heart, it shall produce righteousness. So this is how you recognize whose side they are on. So this is why it's so important to watch and pray. But unfortunately, many people are not paying attention. Hearts are being exposed in the end times. See, there are so many people who are being led astray blindly. Therefore, it takes something like this for the scales of deception to fall from their eyes. So hopefully, this will open the eyes of the blind where they can see the truth, come to the truth, and acknowledge the truth. So watch and pray and God bless you.